Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. Now today we're going to be showcasing the brand new two uh, units that you can find inside of the uh, inside of the rolls now. And one of them is going to be called Kuro, which is the purple guy, uh, immortal. And then after that, the other guy is going to be the rare. And from what I've been able to see so far, these guys have not been crazy impressive. I mean, Kuro, slightly impressive. The other guy, no. And I'm going to discuss why in just a second. I'm just going to go ahead and get us a good starting uh, start. And then we're just going to go ahead and get the trunks is all farmed up and stuff like that. And just kind of like work off of that. And then if you guys don't know the trunks method, the trunks method is get them down as soon as possible. And then the more money you get, just funnel it into them. As long as you have like a good starter unit, you could do this tactic. Uh, let's see, because that's 750, 750. And then that's already on the next one. Then you can put down two more starter units. And then just kind of go back into filtering in on the trunks. And then, as you can see, next one on... I use auto-skip on waves. If you don't know how to do that real quick, boom. You can do auto-skip on waves right there. Very, very important to know these things uh, while we're actually, you know, getting ready. And the, the cost, I'm going to start off with this guy. Whenever it comes down to the new rare units, normally you kind of expect them to do very little damage. Which makes a lot of sense for, like, rare units and stuff like that. But the problem is, right, is that with a lot of these rare units, it leads to a lot of them just being bad because their kit is just the exact same as every other rare unit in the entire game. Uh, the only ones that actually are relatively decent have just been, like, Naruto and Goku. Uh, besides that, though, like, uh, maybe Krillin. Krillin's got super cheap, 4000 for Krillin to start. But this guy, he's just the opposite. He's like the guy you don't want to ever run. And I'm going to showcase why right now. So we start off at 4,000. I mean at 500. And then we go up to 900. And then it starts to get even more expensive already. Because we're already talking about like uh, his max total, whenever it comes down to like maxing him out, is going to cost us like 6,000 something. And that's like a Frieza and a half. If you guys don't know Frieza... He only costs like 4800 to place max. And then that's it. So this dude, he's going to be a little more expensive. Also, if you check his SPA, it's not exactly the craziest. The thing I do like about these units in particular, though, is the range. The range difference is very nice. Single target damage, very nice. Uh, the only issue is too expensive. Way too expensive for what this dude's job is. You know what I mean? <clears throat> For someone who's doing, like, okay damage with good range and a terrible SPA, where, by the way, his stats are, like, pretty bad. Uh, I haven't really been able to roll his stats, but that's because, like, there's not much to, like, roll on rare characters because they kind of keep the same low stats kind of all the way. Uh, but, you know, the Mito, Mito is, like, not the craziest, I wouldn't say. Definitely not your first pick for, like, what a rare character should be. I definitely think Krillin's definitely the better pick if you're ever going to, like, pick up a rare character. And then Trunks, obviously, because Trunks is your money unit. And you're going to need a money unit, especially to run, like, characters like uh, Homeboy over here. Now, this character was very surprising, Kuro. The problem is he has a fatal flaw in his entire kit. Now, as you can see, he is, starts off, he's a good starter unit. So he's got, like, 38 damage. That's really good for starter units. He's pretty much like a budget Minato right now. He gets some good range, though. He gets very good range, as you can see. The range on these new units is very, very high. And that's very decent damage for the upgrade price. And then now it starts to rank up. You know, not too bad, not too bad. And then it starts to go down a little bit more. Then we got Ignite Pass, which ruins the entire kit. Because now he's like, he's got decent range. He's got decent movement. How come he needs to have more time? Uh... Adding time onto his SPA pretty much puts him in the same category as Pain. And I'm going to let you know why now. Because this dude is slightly cheaper than Pain. But whenever it comes down to his single target kit, he doesn't do the same job as Pain. So this dude's got to be competing. Also, they only give us two of him. So there's not much we could do with only two of the same character that is just doing all right damage at best. And we're just going to have to put a Minato back here and max him out. Because... We have to. Minato was the best character in the game right now. They buffed him. They made his line AoE much larger. And he's far more consistent now than ever. 
And I also have the best stats on Minato. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the twenty-one thousand, the twenty-one thousand dollar character over here, Kuro. After we get that, we get Ignite Pass. Now we're looking at six thousand. Now we're looking at seven thousand, and then we max him out. Now, don't get me wrong. The range really good. The damage really good. The SPA not the craziest, but honestly, he's totally workable compared to this guy. Obviously, because he has an immortal character. The only issue is I wish his SPA was a lot lower. And I would definitely give up range for SPA on this character. Because you want him to hit as often as possible. But even at that, like, you know, these are decent stats you could find on this guy. He's got, like, very decent stats. I wouldn't say he's got the worst, but he's got very decent stats. And I might, like, try to run him because of his damage. His He could do damage. I mean, look at that 800 damage, dude, on a single target. That could be the saving grace of, like, a lot of boss fights. I mean, he's not bad. He's definitely up there. Whenever it comes to useful units, get that SPA lower, and he could be absolutely broken. All right. Well, that is pretty much the showcase for, like I said, uh, right at the end here. As you can see, they are dominating because Kuro is just very freaking good. He's not Minato level, but because Minato obviously has a lot more to work with, which means, like, he's got more... Um, how do you say he's got more range? He's got more AOE. I mean, he's got more AOE more than range. So with that AOE being the issue, uh, single target hits aren't going to hit it as very often, which, and their early game is not very good because they start off with like very, very high SPAs and you could get that lowered, but we know how expensive it is to get traits up in here. I say definitely skip on the new guy uh, when it comes to the rares. He is super solid, don't get me wrong. But you'd have to invest in him for him to be actually good. And that's not what we want to do in this game. We don't want to invest in him. We want to, uh, how do you say, um, we want to get the character, right? And we want to use the character at least at the beginning. See, for instance, if we do like uh, Kuro off rip, 4 SPA, not too bad. The only issue is he's got that like, just ridiculous wind-up for some reason. <laughs> what is that wind-up, bro? All right. Now we put down another Kuro. And there's your two Kuros. A after that, it's, like, very, very bad. Because then you th you only can put down two of them, man. It's very bad. Compared to if you just put down all these Minatos, you never really have to worry about it. So the difference between M Minato and Kuro is, like, uh, sun and rain. You kind of want a lot more Minato than you ever want rain. Uh... So, yeah, honestly, that's my showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. Stay notified on all future content on this channel. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.